Hi, this is Matthew Robert Payne, and this is uh, just a short teaching, I believe. Uh, we're just going to cover uh, one scripture in 1 John uh, 2, and uh, it's a scripture that you all know, and uh, I'll just pray, uh, dear Father, I pray that uh, you give me words to share, your Holy Spirit would uh uh, give me uh, the proper words to share and uh, people would be blessed. Amen. Got a bad habit uh, chewing my nails. Uh, if that was listed as a sin, I'd be a sinner. Uh, so uh, 1 John 2, 27 says, but the anointing which you have received from him abides in you and you do not need that anyone teach you but as the same anointing teaches you concerning all things and it is true it is not a lie and just as he just as it has taught you you will abide in him um so the holy spirit inspired John to write this, that um, as a Christian, you have an anointing of God. You have the power of God. You've got an enabling of the Holy Spirit that uh, teaches you uh, the word of God. <coughs> the anointing sort of acts on you uh, that uh, you can listen to teaching on a certain scripture and it just doesn't resonate with you. It doesn't sit with you. You're not comfortable that that's the answer. That's the anointing of the Holy Spirit working on you. Uh, your own spirit uh, being influenced by the Holy Spirit saying, this is not right. Uh, this sounds like it might be right, but it's not right. I don't I feel a sense of peace. I, I don't feel comfortable with this. I don't uh, feel right about this. Uh, so... Uh, your your spirit, man, your the, the spirit in you can be influenced by the anointing, by the Holy Spirit's power and presence, and uh, can tell you what is the truth. Um, so uh, it took a, a long while uh, for me uh, to be able to uh, teach at this level. If you've been uh, following my teachings each day, uh, I've been uh, quite impressed uh, with the level of teaching uh, that I'm coming forth. And I can only say that it's uh, because of the power of the Holy Spirit. It's because of uh, the influence of the Holy Spirit in my life that's giving me understanding and revealing to me uh, the truth of the scripture. And uh, I, uh, uh, the Apostle John uh, says that uh, it's the anointing of the Holy Spirit in my life uh, that uh, is called teacher, and uh, the Holy Spirit is a good teacher, and it'll teach you uh, the truth. So uh, be uh, be confident and trusting uh, in the Holy Spirit's presence in your life. Uh, trust the Holy Spirit. to lead you into truth. Uh, trust the Holy Spirit uh, to uh, give you uh, the gift and and the ability to discern truth from error. And um, you'll find many times uh, people may teach something and it just doesn't sit right with you. It doesn't feel right. It doesn't sense, you don't sense it uh, to be the answer. Um, uh, when that happens, don't be afraid. Uh, don't be afraid that you might be listening to a false teacher or don't turn off from what the person is teaching, but uh, just be aware that your spirit knows, your spirit man, uh, through the influence of the Holy Spirit, knows uh, what the truth is and and uh, you uh, can uh, continue to uh, read books and listening, listen to teachings until one day uh, someone says something about that verse and it really resonates with your spirit 
and uh, it really shows you uh, that that's the truth. And then you come to the realization uh, that uh, that's the truth of the matter. I uh, I, I remember uh, the scripture, um, depart from me, I never knew you, uh, in Matthew 7. And uh, for 10 years, I wanted to know the answer to that. I There was a popular grace teacher uh, came to a church that I used to visit. And uh, it came to question time, and I asked him the question when uh, Jesus said, depart from me, I never knew you. Was he saying that to Christians? And uh, I wanted to hear the answer, but uh, this grace teacher had an answer that wasn't the truth. And uh, I searched, and finally I came across an author who wrote about that question, and I came to realize that one of the examples, not only are they Christians that do signs and wonders and miracles, uh, but one of the examples of the type of person uh, who uh, uh, will be called to depart from me, I never knew, are uh, uh, people that teach the prosperity doctrine and teach people uh, that you can be rich, you can love money and you can love God at the same time, and Jesus was a liar. They don't, they don't overtly say Jesus was wrong when he said you can't serve two masters. They're not as bold as that, but they teach you that wealth is good and wealth is a sign of prosperity and wealth is a sign of blessing. And uh, the more money and the more assets you have, uh, that uh, the more God is blessing you. And Jesus said it's harder for a rich man uh, to go to heaven. Jesus said, uh, beware of covetousness. Life does not consist with the abundance of your possessions. And Jesus had a lot to say about too much. So when the anointing uh, is with you, um, you'll be able to sense what the truth is from what isn't the truth. And I encourage you to uh, stick with the Holy Spirit and allow the Holy Spirit uh, to teach you and minister to you uh, because uh, often uh, teachers have the wrong idea and often people teaching the word of God are just parroting what they've heard from people that taught them. And uh, there, there doesn't seem to be a lot of uh, teachers uh, teaching via the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. And uh, that's what I try and do. So I hope that uh, you're encouraged uh, by this uh, short teaching, uh, just to have confidence that uh, you can read the word of God and the Holy Spirit uh, can teach you himself and uh, have confidence uh, not to easily accept what certain people say about certain scriptures. Hold on and have patience. Sometimes you may have to wait 10 years like I had to wait. And, uh, and I encourage you also to ask questions of teachers and ask questions that you have uh, when uh, you're in a teaching environment and they allow questions. Uh, God bless you and keep you. I'd love to uh, hear from you. I'd love to see you like this post. I'd love to uh, uh, read your comments if you have a comment. God bless.